a Mardi Gras style parade in August. Tonight, the Mobile County Sheriff's Office partnered with the Condi Cavaliers to welcome hundreds of correctional officers from the southeast to Mobile, the birthplace of Mardi Gras. As WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy explains, it was a moment to stop and have fun after all of the hard work these officers do. An early taste of the Mardi Gras spirit. I mean, we are the birthplace of Mardi Gras, so here we are. As a big welcome to Mobile for those attending JailCon 2024. We provide the top training in the entire country on what it takes to run a constitutionally safe facility. The National Institute for Jail Operations teaches hundreds of sheriffs and correctional officers. There's a way to do it right, and that right way, I said constitutionally, is making sure that everything that they're entitled to in court is met including how to handle safety, grievances, religious rights, food, and medication. Tate McCotter says the biggest problem he sees in the jail system is the continued decline of mental health. And unfortunately, jails have become the dumping ground for the mentally ill. It's, it's a population where if something bad happens, where are you going to put them? Which is one of the leading causes of overcrowding in the jails. And when you have a population that exceeds what it was built for, it can create a lot of issues. McCotter says being a correction officer is not easy, much less a job someone typically wants to do. So getting a thank you is pretty rare, much less a whole Mardi Gras parade. It's unusual and we are incredibly grateful. Reporting in Mobile, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.